What's up guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to the weekly rambling video where I normally grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and talk to you fine people of the internet about my personal life and what's going on in it, which in the end probably isn't the smartest idea, but I enjoy doing it and you guys seem to really like connecting with me on a personal level. These are some of the videos that do the best on my channel and even if they didn't do well, I would probably still make them. I just really enjoy it and I wanted to start off this video by thanking all of the subscribers that have been coming in lately. I think we're up to 357 at the time of making this video and I would love to be able to hit a thousand by the end of the year if that's even at all possible I know last year I set the goal of 500 by the end of this year and we're already almost there pretty much I should be there by the end of maybe I would say July early August if the trend continues but I would love for it to just explode if you guys just started sharing all of my videos and watching on a constant you know um predictable basis but the content that I make is there and if you guys want to watch it uh, it's always going to be there so I just appreciate it when you guys do watch it and when you enjoy it but now that that all uh, sappy stuff is over what's been going on in my life uh, what have I been up to what games have I been playing let's go ahead and start getting into it so I graduate this Friday which is absolutely crazy and I'm planning on doing a graduation vlog because if you guys followed last week's vlog I actually um found the battery charger for my camera which I can take places you know and, rec and record in 1080 720p whatever I want to instead of just having to use a crappy phone camera which are getting better albeit but still I prefer to have a camera on a handle uh, you know I'm not really a selfie stick kind of guy but you get what I'm saying and um, so I found that and I'll probably end up doing some kind of graduation vlog unfortunately I can't film during the graduation but I might get someone else to depending on uh, the circumstances and such I think that'd be a pretty cool thing let me know down below if you guys would like to see me graduate uh, that seems like it would be something that'd be kind of interesting and something that uh, I have a feeling phase adapt yes I still watch the phase clan shut up um, is probably going to do with his graduation which is also this week I think so uh, shout out phase adapt if you ever watch this video for some reason congrats on graduating the same year I do it's a good year but um yeah, so graduations this Friday, I had rehearsal today, and it all went pretty well. You know, you just kind of get up, walk up there, you have to walk at a certain pace. You know, I got yelled at for going too fast because I'm ready to get all this crap over with. But, uh, yeah, graduation is happening, and I never thought it would get here. Uh, for those of you that are in high school, take it. Like I said, I um, made a video that I'll pop a thumbnail or link right here, or if I can't find the thumbnail around here, uh, talking about my high school advice. Take that advice and then remember also on top of that, I probably mentioned it in that video, but uh, enjoy high school for what it is. It's really great. But um, other than prepping for graduation, I've been playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt which I actually got for free whenever I purchased my graphics card, and that game is awesome. I can run it on ultra settings all the way across the board. V-Sync is off, so it, it runs it better, and um, it looks gorgeous. I'm really trying to get used to the mechanics of the game. I actually downloaded the uh, drivers so I can use an Xbox One controller on the PC, and it works pretty well, I must admit. I prefer the controller laid out for The Witcher Wild Hunt, and then whenever I'm playing like Battlefield Hardline or another first-person shooter, or uh, pretty much any other game, I prefer to use the keyboard and mouse, but that's just me, that's my personal preference. I, you know, I guess it's going to differ with every single person, but I just really prefer the Xbox One controller for playing The Witcher, but I still don't understand the full mechanics of the game, how to craft certain potions, how to learn how to craft certain other things, and uh, the deeper details of stuff I'm still trying to grasp, and uh, at the moment I'm doing some side quests just to try and boost up that XP and get as much, you know, uh, XP as possible and level up my character so that I can do higher missions and possibly learn how to do these things. But um, I guess that's how the game is kind of meant to be played. It gives you the fundamental basics, kind of kicks off the story, and then you're supposed to branch out and level up on your own. I think that's kind of how it works. But uh, I've been playing that a lot. I've been playing some Battlefield Hardline. There's a uh, two times XP event this weekend, considering it's Memorial Day. So I will probably end up playing a good bit of Battlefield Hardline, which... Um, I'm going to talk about it for a minute here. Uh, I think I've talked about this in a video before, probably the Battlefield 4 DLC content video, but uh, that's beside the point. Uh, Battlefield Hardline has gotten a lot of flack, or whatever you call it. It's gotten a lot of negative publicity because people say it doesn't feel like a Battlefield and it's not a Battlefield game, and they don't consider it a true sequel. I disagree. I think that it's kind of what Black Ops did for the Call of Duty series, and of course, that's a terrible comparison because Black Ops completely and totally changed the Call of Duty 
Infinity series in a positive way while building off the fundamental basics, but Battlefield takes the basics and twists them into something completely new and original, and I really like Hardline. I think I'm one of the few people that actually do. I know Level Cap enjoys it. He's one of the primary Battlefield YouTubers that I watch. And uh, Matimo, I believe, likes it, so I really enjoy Hardline, and I'll probably end up playing more of it and getting to a very high level, as I'm most likely, you know, it's just a fun game to me, and I like having that kind of cops versus robbers thing. It grows on you after a while, so, um... I've been playing a lot of that. There's some decent guns in that game, too. But uh, one thing I've been wanting to play more of is Bloodborne. I want to play more Bloodborne, but I just can't seem to get back into it, and I don't know why. And it kind of bothers me, because that's a beautiful-looking game. The gameplay is solid, but I just get frustrated too easily. And for some reason, that kind of atmosphere brings me down. I don't know what it is about it, but that gothic thing, I just it, I can't stay in it for too long. I start getting in kind of a fog. You know, there's an atmosphere in games that kind of affects the way you think about it so I've been trying to kind of get back into that a little bit without much success and then I really really want to play the House of Wolves expansion pack for Destiny that is something I really desperately want to play because it looks like it's really fun I just don't have the, the people to play Destiny with you know my friends are all well the friend I played um, Destiny with primarily is on PC now he's probably never going to go back to his PS4 and um I know he has the expansion pass, but I, I know we're not going to want to play it, that's the thing. So if I bought it, there will be no point in it, but I really want to play it. The Crucible maps look really good, and I think that the uh, the Queen's Wrath, I believe it's called, is going to be an awesome community event, and I really want to get in on that. But we'll just have to see how it goes. I might end up buying it because I know I have some PlayStation Store credit. So that might be what that goes towards. I also really want to play Wolfenstein the Old Blood. I've got a huge list of stuff to play, which, I mean, I'm graduating, so I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands, and, um... I think I've kind of figured out how I'm going to do work over the summer also, kind of changing subjects here. Uh, as you guys know, I work for a real estate company sort of on the side. That's been dwindling off a little bit lately. I'm not sure how much longer that's going to last. And I also am a janitor, and I've been cleaning uh, houses also. So I kind of have been doing a janitor thing hardcore, and it's bringing in the money. But whenever college starts, I feel like I'm going to end up looking for a real quote unquote job where I, you know, work behind a counter somewhere, maybe at a game store, maybe at like Harris Teeter or Lowe's Foods or something like that near my college. Uh, I think that would work out really well. And I think that I, um, I would meet more people doing it, that kind of thing, rather than my reclusive, uh, uh, janitor thing where I normally just go in alone and, you know, I rough it and get it done and then come home. So I think that I might try to do that, but we'll see, you know, you never know where the cards are going to fall. M just a few months can change the, the, um, the outlook on life and how you want things to go out, but uh, whenever I'm not, whenever I haven't been playing these games or trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life, I've been running a lot more also. I started going two times a day normally now, but I mean, if I go once a day, that's totally cool, but two times a day is normally what I shoot for. Today, I didn't go twice because I had run three times in the past 24 hours and cleaned a couple of houses and stuff, so I was pretty tired, but um, probably going to go at it in the morning, but I really enjoy running, and um, it's just a great stress reliever because life can get you down, you know, it, it really, uh, it, it'll weigh you down after a while. And I think that the best way to do that is through physical activity to kind of let all of that negative emotion kind of explode out through the f excessive force and stuff like that. And it just helps balance out the hormones and the, uh, and the emotional side of your being. I believe in all of that kind of stuff, but, um... You know, if that sounds like a whole bunch of crap to you, it very well might be. But, you know, what works for me works for me, and what works for you works for you. That's just kind of the mindset I have with that. But um, other than that, I've just been hanging out. I really have been enjoying life a lot lately. I've been uh, experimenting with some new coffees and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's just life is going really well. I'm graduating, and things are looking up. So um, I've been in a really good mood lately. And I hope that that continues. I've been trying to stream on Twitch more, but for some reason I just can't seem to get that into it. Uh, mainly because I don't have the stamina I used to whenever I used to have whenever I was playing games. There were days whenever Modern Warfare 3 was the big thing to play, and back whenever I loved Call of Duty to death, that um, I would sit down at like, I've, I've said this before, sit down at like 6 o'clock in the morning and play until like 2 a.m. the next day with breaks for you know, lunch and dinner and stuff, but that would only be an hour max. I played a lot of Modern Warfare 3. I wish there was some way I could find out my hours. I wonder if Call of Duty Elite's still active, but um, I wish I could tell you guys how much time I spent on Modern Warfare 3, because I sold the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 and all of that. I don't have that information anymore. But I put a lot of hours on that game, and I just can't do that anymore. I know I tried to do the charity stream for the... Um, 
for the uh, Operation Supply Drop. Thank you to the, the, um, the two guys that donated. That's really awesome, and uh, thanks for helping a good cause. But I just couldn't. I was planning on doing a 24-hour stream, and before I even started, I said, there's no way I can do that. And so I dropped it down to 12 and then to, to 8, and then I just said, forget it. I'm done. And I ended it at like 7 hours and 46 minutes or something like that. And I played some Bioshock on the PC. I played some other stuff, and it was fun. I enjoyed it, but... I just, I can't sit at some place indoors for such a long time, especially in this room, you know. There's nothing wrong with the room. It's just I can't sit in one place and stare at a screen not really doing anything other than playing a game. I can work, fine. I can totally work. I can, you know, do all of that stuff, but I can't just play a game, and that's what was killing me. So, um... Twitch streaming is kind of rough, but I can do one to two hours, and I can switch in between games, and I'll have to go get a refill and walk and, you know, stretch, do some sit-ups or something, but I can probably do a couple of hours, so I might try some of that uh, later this week, and um, I'm buying an HD, uh, what is it, Elgato HD60 sometime in the future, probably next week, maybe the week after that. I'm trying to save up some money, build up my bank account a little bit more, so depending on how much money I get for graduation, I'll be buying an Elgato HD60, which I'll be streaming some console stuff with. I want to stream I'm um, looking at the games I have. I want to stream Bloodborne. I want to stream Destiny. Uh, I have Battlefield 4, and I want to buy it on PC, but I really don't because I kind of, you know, I've, I'm a level 111 on PS4, and that doesn't carry over to PC. So I wouldn't really benefit much from buying it on PC this late in the life cycle, but um, I would love to stream some Battlefield 4 for you guys from the PS4. And uh, maybe even some Advanced Warfare here and there. I don't know. I've been playing Call of Duty on and off lately. Uh, not really as hardcore as I used to be. And people are going to say, oh, it's Call of Duty. You shouldn't be playing that. It's a, it's a sad excuse for a game. Well, you know, it, it can be. But for some reason, I enjoy it. And the last map pack really kind of, it, it struck my fancy. I enjoy it. So, um, yeah. I think that's about all that's been going on. I know this episode of Rambling was really uh, game heavy, so I apologize if you didn't enjoy it, but if you did enjoy it, drop me a like down below and comment what you've been up to in your own personal lives lately. What you've been playing? Are you graduating? Are you getting ready to finish out with your exams? Have you had exams 30 years ago and now you're woodworking or something? I don't know. Let me know what's going on in your life in the comments down below, and if you are new to the channel, not every video is like this, so you might want to check out that one, or you can go over to the channel and uh, check out some of my other uploads i do new stuff four or five days a week so there's always something new on the channel for you guys to check out and as always i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video which was a pretty long rambling video and i'll talk to you soon peace